so often the sports hangover touches on mature topics discretion is advised welcome to the sports hangover that's mike i'm jeremy mike i like your colorful shirt today. jeremy if i took this off you'd be blinded on how like stunning my body looks right now are you serious you've been working a out? little bit not a lot it's there's still <laughs> a little like loose skin around but i'm trying to get rid of it so i'm getting it happens to most I'm, of us i'm getting ready see. for summertime i'm getting the beach body together yeah, the beach body. I've it's never had one. Spring, spring has finally got yeah. here. Our friends in the Northeast still getting some snow. Sorry about yeah. that to you it's, folks. But it's hot. It's beautiful here. It's been like in the 80s in California. It's it's great. It's actually cool in Florida today. I went to the Brave Spring training game. Got my hat on. Got my now, shirt on. Should, should you be telling people that? Because I feel like you let you didn't go to work today. So I don't know if work people are going to see this. Well, you know, people are allowed days off in work. It turns out you are allowed to take days okay. off. So that's what happened today. <laughs> that's good. And I'm really happy that you just brought that up too. So let's get into happening now. <laughs> what do you got for me, Jeremy? So baseball season is oh. starting. That's happening now. Oh, my guess. I'm so excited. Can't, you can't even hold a conversation about baseball. But I had my baseball draft last yeah, night. Go? Went to the Braves game today. I'm fired up. I mean, up. how's I your like team that. look? I mean, who? what, what do you got? It's really good. Bryce Harper's on okay. my team. Ryan Braun, some big hitters. We got Max Scherzer, yeah, the yeah, AL Cy Young. Yeah, of course. Yeah, you know all those guys. guys. So it's really good. All right, so really happening right now, a late-breaking story. The Northwestern football team tried to unionize um, earlier this year, back in February, I think it was, and it was heard by a federal mm-hmm. judge, and the federal judge approved their unionization. So this didn't mean anything to me until we started talking off air, but I didn't yeah. know that now you, you're saying that they can now start getting paid. That's what it's for. But, um, that's the whole basis of this. They're allowed to unionize and it could change the landscape of college sports. It could be so a So is it going to be like, I don't know, maybe the post off workers, are, are they unionized? You get a certain amount yeah. of money per hour. So are they going to get paid per play time or? That's all down the road. But the point is a federal judge is allowing them to unionize. Okay. They work as a team. They work as a, a group. They, they work certain hours. They have certain commitments. Okay. And they will get paid. And it goes back to the whole thing. Should college athletes be paid? I've been saying that for a while. Yeah. I think they should. Yeah, and there's a great documentary on ESPN that I was watching recently about how college athletes should get paid. And this is a good step forward. And I think – I. I don't know how it's really going to work, though, because now does the school pay them or is everybody going to get paid from like a cut of maybe the games that they go to, maybe ticket sales or something like that. But so that's a question. There's a lot to work out and it's a long ways away from actually happening. There's Northwestern is already appealing. it. Obviously, the school is not happy about it. NCAA is not happy about it. And then who pays? Is it the NCAA? Is it the individual school? I think it should be whatever program is making money, the athlete should get paid. Sorry, but the ladies' volleyball team probably won't get paid because they're not bringing money into the school. Yeah. But the Notre Dame football team is, so the football players And they get already paid. get a lot of perks for being a part of the organization. They get, they get free – they get scholarships. They get to go to so school. They one. get all sure. this stuff. So on top sure. of it, it would be great if like maybe you go to a school that can afford to get paid. I mean, pay you. It would be good to go to. Get a little. These guys work so hard. The schools make so much money off them. Like Texas A and M and Manziel, they're adding on to their football stadium. Manziel doesn't see a dime of it. I think it needs to change. Also happening right now, USF hired a basketball coach okay. today, which normally would not be in our not show at all. all. Hired him from Manhattan, who lost to Louisville in the uh, college basketball tournament. It turns out this head coach he lied on his resume. He said he graduated from Kentucky. He never graduated college. USF requires. Their basketball coach just to have a college degree. So was he already coaching in Man- at Manhattan? Yeah. And so how about this? Another wrinkle. Manhattan put him on a leave of absence based on this news today. So he lost his current oh, job and he lost no. his new job. That's that's not good. That's shady. But shows you how like <laughs> only, only if people actually check will they see any mistakes in your resume. So that means you can lie right. your way through. You can lie your way through Manhattan but not USF, which is interesting. What do you think, though, should – should colleges like USF should they require their co- their coaches to have I mean, college degrees? In a way, it's it's almost like did you did I really need to go to college for what I'm doing? Probably nope, nope. not at all. <laughs> did you really need to go to college for what you're doing? It, not. So so it's like well, I mean, it's okay. It's like okay, well, you went to school, you spent a lot of money, but if you yeah. could get through and get by and get hired by a a, a college and show that you actually can do with the job then why not i don't know things are changing i understand it um 
And in college, you probably want to set a good example for the college athletes to have college graduates as your coaches. But at the same time, it comes down to what we just talked about. College athletics so often is a business, yep. right? It's a business in football and basketball especially. It's more about the business than getting an education. The, guy, the players are one and done so often to the NBA. So why don't we maybe look at it like it's a business and the best possible coach should be hired and not worry about the college. So you, he, do you think he's going to get a job anywhere? Is he going anywhere? Well, USF has not said anything yet except that they found out that he didn't get it. So he may still get this job if they relax the rules. Mm-hmm. It turns out he's not going to go back to Manhattan, so maybe someone else would give him a shot. We don't so know. he just graduated high school and decided, I'm going <laughs> to coach some college. And lie about it, yeah. And this is not unprecedented. UCF head coach George O'Leary got hired at Notre Dame. You may remember mm-hmm. this. He was hired at Notre Dame for a <laughs> week. <laughs> so yes. Yeah. And he lied on his resume about where he played college football and Notre Dame being the prestigious university. He was fired him. UCF not being so prestigious. Picked him I, right up. I like it. And now we are for yes to bowl champions. All right, okay. Okay. Is, that's, uh, that's all you're right? hoarding behind you. People don't know, but you hoard a lot of crap. The hoarding is cleaned up. That's why we move locations. You inspired me all to right. clean up. The I'm sure it'll start all over again. All right. I want to check in on your bracket. Yes. Tell me how it's doing because mine is not doing Jeremy, well. I, I, I came into this thing. You're like, oh, you know, I have a really good shot at winning a billion dollars. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I, I'm in a little bracket with Kirby's whole family. And like her brother's girlfriend and everything like that. I am at the bottom of the bracket out of like eight people. I'm terrible. I have two teams left going all the way. Michigan and Florida. Florida went in it all. That's it. Everybody else, pretty much out of it. I have a few left, but these are the two that go the, the furthest. So I need them to really pick it up. So you didn't do great. I was even worse than you. I had Duke beating Syracuse in the championship game. They're both gone. I also had Villanova in the Final Four. They're wow. gone. So I have one Final Four team left. At work, we have a large place I work. So 125 <laughs> people in the in the yeah. pool. Um, I am like 98th out of 125. That's pretty bad. And it's really bad. Uh, $10 buy-in, so I didn't lose any money. How much would you – do you win at all if you win? Yeah, so the no, not all. So I think they pay out the first three. I think the winner gets like eight hundred, wow. and then three hundred, and then one hundred. That's, nice. That's a lot of money. Yeah, you really missed out, Jeremy. Should have listened to me. Warren Buffett, of course, will keep his billion. No one is winning. The well, billion. I thought there. No one ever. I thought there was the one bracket, perfect bracket left. But he didn't. So he signed up. The guy who did that signed up on Yahoo, but didn't enter in the Quicken uh, Loans billion. What a retard. Okay. Uh, that's that, at that point he's like hoping he gets something wrong right then now he doesn't want to perfect yeah. crack it wow because yeah tough that's to, tough, tough to do you want to get into a little uh what are we doing sexy i'm still oh, going whoa, through happy whoa jeremy oh, sorry don't jump the gun got two All more right, things for you both revolve around the nfl mark cuban yeah, right yeah mark like cuban mark yeah interrupt. i know about him he had a quote and it really agrees with something that I've said quite a bit. I want to read you this quote. Mark Cuban, Dallas Mavericks owner, rich man. I think the NFL is 10 years away from an implosion. I'm just telling you pigs get fat, hogs get slaughtered, and they're getting hoggy. Oh. Just watch. Pigs get fat, hogs get slaughtered. When you try to take it too far, people turn the other way. And what he's saying is the Thursday night Tell NFL me, package is too much, right? It's too oh, much. The Thursday night, is that what he's doing? He's saying it's overexposure. <laughs> I catch you off guard. Yeah, I didn't even. Th- you were. I thought you were just going to talk about the NFL in general, but now you're just like targeting Thursday night too much. Well, that his quotes are about because he says people want watch football and it's so popular because you get it Sundays, you get yeah. it Mondays, and that's it. People love to go and plan their weekend around their Sunday afternoon games. Well, now teams will play Thursday, teams will play Sunday, teams will play Monday. It's too much. It's oversaturation. So I could say the same thing for basketball. Well, basketball is not as popular as the I know, NFL, but so. th- that or or baseball. I mean, it's all the same. Hockey, they all have games multiple days out of the week. So, but none of them are as popular as the NFL, and maybe that's why the NFL is so popular because we only get it once. But it's a only week three nights, week. three nights, and maybe and the Thursday night games are not something that it's like need to watch TV. It's like if it's your team, the you need Browns to watch it. and the Jags are facing off. It, no one cares. But if the Seahawks play, you need to pay attention. Plus, the games on Thursday this year will be better because they're on CBS. They're on C- oh, yeah. Half of them are going to be on CBS. Right, right. So, I, so, what you, so, I mean, I, I thought you – I mean, we talked about this years ago when we started the podcast, Jeremy. Years and years, yeah. years ago. Years you, ago. <laughs> you, <laughs> true. you said you think the NFL might be gone in 20 years. 
10 to 20 years. I said it more about the, the concussions and, and the lack of, of talented young athletes coming up and playing mm-hmm. the game. But this kind of goes hand in hand with it. I think he was also, he made these quotes right after the NFL banned dunking, which I also want to get into. Like Jimmy Graham, after he scores a touchdown, he can't dunk over the goalpost. It's a not fun league. And they're, the rules are so stringent in so many cases where I think um, people could get fed up. And, and it's, where, I can see this happening. Where so would you go? Are you going to start watching lacrosse or soccer? But the thing is, sports are, have always been like this. There's always been a popular sport for a span of 10 to 40 years in America, and then it moves on. Back before we were on this earth, Mike, boxing. What? It's crazy. Boxing. Soccer was, was popular. Yeah. Boxing was popular. Horse racing. No one cares about boxing and horse racing now. Soccer is making uh, come back a little bit. And I think soccer could replace the what, NFL, especially among What about people. UFC? I feel like UFC is pretty – it's getting big. It's growing, but it, I think it's it's so barbaric. I don't think it'll ever be on the stage that th- an, a real sport there, is. It took years for the NFL to become the biggest sport, and I don't think out of nowhere lacrosse is suddenly going to take over. It's going to be it'll be a shift, but NFL will always be there with new rules. Like the the what is it? The baseball just finally started doing replays. Well, they're slow. I mean, it's a little slow, so they really like taking yeah. a little time to catch up on the new, you know, equipment out there. For sure. So I think these sports will always be here, but I don't think they'll ever be. You, NFL won't be gone. Somebody will come around and be like, "Hey, if the NFL," I'm not saying it'll be gone, but it might not be the most popular sport in America in ten to twenty years. Mark Cuban is a smart man. You can't discount what he's saying here. He's a smart businessman. He's on Shark Tank every Friday night. Dropping you know what knowledge. he's trying to do? He's planting little seeds. He's going to start the new USFL. <laughs> with dunking over goal posts maybe and no I'll have nights. the fun league the f- <laughs> so I <laughs> the yeah. I just think this is a great point and obviously he went too far with the pigs and the hogs yeah, and a little, I don't know yeah, yeah. they would have been drinking when he said some of that but I agree with him in the long run that the NFL is in danger the NFL is only 50 years old and it's it's only been around 50 years and it wasn't extremely popular early on in the 60s and 70s it's gotten extremely popular I'd say was with the advent of fantasy football in the 2000s right yeah, I mean it's I think it's always been popular like you could talk to somebody that watched football 30 years ago and be like oh I love this is the only sport I watch and I think just in our minds that we always thought like baseball is America's sport but I don't think it was ever I think people always loved football but it just took a long time for them to get like those TV deals get them into the households Get cool jerseys, rebrand. I mean, it, it's a business. When somebody took over the business, they made it a bigger and better business. I don't think Mark Cuban really knows what he's talking about. I think it's a great. Wow. So we disagree. I disagree. On this. All right, I like that. And there's a lot of room for the discussion on this. I think in the off season is a great time to continue talking about this, yeah, Mike. Because there's no football. As we so. go forward, there's no football. So let's talk about football uh, in the off season. Uh, do Very we go sexy slutty now? Is that is that please, okay? All right, please. Go- I'm done uh, now. Yes. <laughs> All right, Jeremy, happening in Sexy Slutty right now. Uh, just about 100 miles uh, east of you, west of you, uh, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. That's where they practice and uh, play football. Wide receiver yep. Mike Williams uh, was stabbed in the leg recently by, by? by his own brother. Yep. I, I don't know what's going on. Every, every offseason, Jeremy, something like this happens. It was serious. He was in the hospital for multiple days. It wasn't like a little scar. I know, and he missed he all was... last season or half of it or something with some kind of leg injury. After he signed a $40 million contract last offseason. Yep. And this is a new Bucks regime. It's a new yep. GM. It's a new head coach. You think they're growing tired of it. So right now, like I think you said that the Bucks are standing yep, behind him. The them. owner's standing behind him. They want him on the team. I mean, the Bucks don't really have a lot of wiggle room to start kicking people off, I don't think. I'm sure they spent a lot of money acquiring New GMs, new coaches, new everybody, new quarterbacks. So this right. is like you're kind of stuck with what you got. And yeah, I mean, staff. It's not. It's just not a good look. He said that it happened when he was roughhousing with his brother. That's not. I mean, true, right? Jeremy, I'm sure you've rust out. You know, wrestled around with some guys before, but uh, I don't. I don't think Jeez, you uh, have any knives. It's just. I didn't stab him in a knife. Our friend Tony, um, Sam. Was it Sam stab Tony? It's a little inside knowledge for um, us. Sam stabbed Tony before. <laughs> uh, those are our friends there, hooligans. Um, the Bucks signed a receiver today, Lewis Murphy. I okay. think Mike Williams is in danger. I don't think he'll be on who, the Bucks. Who is Lewis I think Murphy? they'll trade him or who's... cut him. He's a receiver from the Oakland Raiders, played at UF. He's a decent receiver. Okay. He could grow in the number two or three role. They'll probably draft a receiver. And at that point, they don't need Mike Williams because they have Vincent Jackson at the number one. That's true. What else you got, Jer? Also, sexy slutty. Did you see this? So Russell, Will- Russell Wilson. Your boy was on set of Entourage. You're filming oh, I, the movie, which comes I follow out. everything Russell Wilson does. I, 
comes out in May of next year, May 2015. Mm-hmm. So they're shooting it right now. And E, if you watch the show, you know E, played by Kevin Connolly, mm-hmm. the uh, the actor who's not in anything else except Entourage. I'm pretty yep. sure. Oh no, no, right? he's been in a few movies, like some mm-hmm. kind of some kind of love that? movie, like. Uh no, I can't name it off the top of my head. But if you give me like two minutes, I could probably find it. Just saying, those Entourage boys—they don't do much except the Entourage. <laughs> like, no. uh, he, like uh, Adrian Grenier, yeah. the, the good looking character. What's he ever been? Nothing in? else. Yeah. I mean, he's been Nothing in a few else. bad movies, but really, like, why wouldn't? And Turtle's getting roles, right? Turtle, Turtle is, he lost a lot of weight. He's not. Fat. It's not a good look for him. He needs to stay fat because that's how he was a better. He was a better actor. Fat guys always so a, be the only person. Yeah. that's better fat. Yeah, it's like Jonah Hill. Well, so we're telling this whole story about Entourage. So basically, Russell Wilson was throwing passes to E in the movie. They're shooting the movie. E's running routes, whatever. They're having a great time. E broke his leg. Kevin Connolly broke his leg catching passes from Russell Wilson. And they're in the middle of production. So now he's laid up with a broken mm-hmm. leg, but they're trying to shoot this movie. I wonder if it'll be in the movie or tr- they'll try to cover it up. What do you think? I think Russell Wilson has a fiery, hard pass, and it just broke. It <laughs> happened to break his leg. I don't know. <laughs> do you think, I don't think the ball hit his leg. I don't leg. think so either. I'm sure he tried he was, catching it. I think they should just put. It's like if you go out there trying to catch pass from Russell Wilson, you'll probably get hurt too. Right? Yeah, I probably yeah, I probably get. Hurt. I probably want to try to catch all the balls too. Just like yeah, I can I can keep up with you. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, Entourage. I don't know if anybody's gonna go see it. I might. I would probably watch it, but I don't. The I'll see the it. Entourage show. It got pretty bad after like the sixth or fifth or fourth season. It started going downhill. I agree. I just thought the acting was subpar. Yeah, I mean, it was really all about like doing drugs and seeing the girls and really like yeah. sightseeing in L.A. That that's what it was all about. Which I enjoy. Yeah. I do like Jeremy Piven though. He's he's he really, really good. good. He does. All right, that's... you gonna do a little of this or that? Yep, let's do it. All right, play the music. <laughs> I don't. I don't think we have. <laughs> do we have music? We don't have music, music for this or that. I was just throwing that out there. All right, this we can or get that. Music though. Favorite game. I ask a question. We give you two options. Yeah. And then you're either right or wrong. So here's our Pretty first easy. one. The Jets and Eagles traded backup quarterbacks, essentially. They both released their quarterbacks, Vic and Mark Sanchez, and they both signed with the other team. So now Michael Vick is on the Jets. Mark Sanchez is on the Eagles. Who do you want as a backup quarterback, Michael Vick or Mark Sanchez? I mean, this is this is too easy, right? You go with Mark Sanchez. You, no, 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 wait. Not Mark Sanchez. You go with Michael Vick. Sorry. You want Vick as your backup? I want Vick as my backup because... Maybe you're He's starter. probably my starter because Geno Smith is not probably good. Jets. And, yeah, I mean, yeah. Well, Mark Sanchez is never going to get a shot to play in Philly. He will be a backup. Vic has the potential to be a starter. That's exactly right, which makes you wonder, why did Chip Kelly let Michael Vick go to, just to bring in Mark Sanchez? Does he believe in Mark Sanchez? Does he think he fits the did system? They, is he just cheaper? Younger, cheaper. I mean, did they get, save a little money on Getting rid of I'm sure they did. Vic got five mil for a year. I don't see Sanchez getting that much. But Sanchez is garbage. I've been railing on him for years. But maybe maybe in a different type of offense, I mean, he might be able to do something with him. I, I don't know. I don't know. Mark Sanchez is bad, but... Listen, they need to hope Nick Foles doesn't get hurt because if they have to turn it over to Mark Sanchez, shit is going down in Philly. And just as a side note, you know Deshaun Jackson's being shopped. I don't understand it why, but apparently he's not going to be on the Eagles next year no matter what. Doesn't... I mean... Isn't there like some weird price tag on him too, like forty million dollars? That yeah, but they said they're going to cut him if they don't trade him, so he gone. Well, I, I don't know what they're doing then. What I mean, isn't he like the number one guy there? Kind of. He is the number one receiver, but they have so many options, right? So they signed Darren Sproles to go with McCoy uh, in the back. Okay. They have Jeremy Macklin coming back from injury. Riley Cooper is uh, signed a big contract, and then they have Deshaun. They don't really need him with all those other weapons. And I, I guess, guess. he's kind of like a thug, makes a lot of noise, like not really fit. All right, I can see. I mean, I I don't know. That's a big hit to take. That's a lot of money. It's true. It's true. Both the 49ers and Seahawks said they're not interested in Jackson. Teams that are interested, the Jets and the Panthers, so keep an eye on that. All right, this or that number two. We talked about Mark Cuban recently. Another owner in Dallas, sports owner Jerry Jones. If you were a fan of a franchise Uh and you had to pick your owner, Mark Cuban or Jerry Jones, who would you pick? (sighs) I mean, I guess, so Mark Cuban's been an owner for how many years? Like, set five, eight years? Eight. Okay. Yeah. Jerry Jones Eight-ish. has been owner for a really long time? 20, 25. Bill, I mean, if Jerry Jones wanted to just be an owner, not a GM, not like he, what he's doing now where he's playing t- two yeah. roles, getting two paychecks. Yeah, I'm not saying he shouldn't be the GM. No way. I would take Jerry Jones because he could make the most money. Oh. Right? 
I go Mark Cuban. I mean, he's more he's more Mark fun. I, I'm not saying you're wrong. I won't say you're wrong because I can see where you're coming from. Like, I mean, it, not if, we're, if we're talking about fun. money, if you're talking about like, oh, he's going to be my friend, I would take Mark Cuban. Not my friend, but the guy I want running, owning my franchise, not running it. Be yeah. careful. Owning my um, franchise. And it's Cuban because he's – he uh, changes things. He, he's not afraid to make changes. He's new school as opposed to Jerry Jones, who's old school. Jerry Jones is an idiot. And even though he wouldn't be the GM in this situation, I don't want him as my owner. But Jerry Jones did make a lot of money for the Cowboys. Like, they are making – they were the biggest franchise in the world, right? Like I, He did. They're America's yeah. team, right? They're America's team. And that Jerry Jones gets a lot of credit for that, but – uh, I don't, I don't know. like it. I'm not I a mean, Jerry Jones guy. I don't think the Dallas Mavericks are ever going to be America's basketball team. It's interesting. You know, Mark Cuban tried to buy the Chicago Cubs a few years ago. MLB said, nope, we don't want you owning an MLB team. Huh. Because he mouths off. Yeah, you know, he yeah, talks yeah. about officials. He does the pig slaughter thing. But I feel like that would I kind of fit right. baseball a little more. Like, you just kind of talk. You don't really do much on the field. <laughs> but owning the Cubs is similar to owning the Cowboys. That's about as big as it gets. I mean, Cubs, Yankees, Dodgers are the three big yeah. ones in baseball. I like it. Red Sox, too, kind of. All right, my last list for that. This is for you. We had some baseball talk <sighs> earlier, so now I'm going to set you up for something you enjoy okay. a little more. I was with some friends from Tampa oh. this weekend, and they're all – Talking up the Tampa Bay Lightning. Wow. Right? Everyone says the Lightning have a great chance to win the uh-huh. title this year. They say they'll at least reach the Stanley Cup final. So that's my this or that for you. Do the Stanley do the Tampa Bay Lightning make the Stanley Cup final this year? I mean, yes, Jeremy, no. I every year I always put some money on the Lightning to win the Stanley Cup. I put twenty okay. to twenty five dollars for them to win, so I win like two hundred and fifty bucks if they win. So the uh, they were okay oh. odds. Um I haven't watched that many games, but since Stamkos has come back, they look good. They've been winning some okay. games. I, I don't know. I mean, they're fourth in the Metropolitan or Atlantic Division right now. Metropolitan is that? A That's thing? a thing. It's a really they've really fucked up the divisions for the <laughs> for the NHL. <laughs> <doesn't sound> um, <laughs> I would say they could make maybe the second round of the playoffs. I don't know if they can go much further because they're. Their uh, goalie is not that good. Wow. Lightning fan put money on them, and you're saying no. Because, like, the, the Bruins, they have to face off with the Bruins at some point, and the Bruins are just – they're too good. They're, they have more the – they have 10 more points they're than any other team in the division. Bruins are on fire this year. I agree with you. I don't think they do. It's just crazy. These guys are talking up. They're going to be a dynasty. They're going to win Who three is straight this? Is this? Are we hanging out with Fat Matt? <laughs> no, I don't hang out with Fat Matt. <laughs> Uh, Hayden, Hayden Butner, uh-huh. Julian Gaffan, give them a shout out. They came up to go to a golf uh-huh. tournament this weekend, uh-huh. and um, they're talking up the Lightning. So um, good for them. What kind they're of drugs were they supporters. on? <laughs> <laughs> Not enough drugs. Not enough. But um, that was this or that. You did well. I I think I won. I won overall. That was not even a this or that. That last one, you just straight up asked me a question. <laughs> it was a yes or no. It's a this or All right, let's, let's get it for one for the honeys. All right. Jeremy, you talked about some of the – you briefly mentioned some of the rules that passed, but I think you missed on the biggest one. I think they're going to give a shot to the, the field goal, moving it back for the point after to the 25-yard line. Or a little f- oh, I know. It just doesn't didn't affect, affect you. Me. It's extra points. They're going to try it in the preseason for two yeah, weeks. Yeah, they're right? going to do that. They're going to raise the uh, field goal five feet, the bar or something. Adam Carolla, vindicated. Years and years of it, trying to get it. He should, he should get paid for he that. Should, right? Well, the NFL, NFL.com mentioned him in the article. Yeah, well, he was the first time I ever heard it was from him, and it turns out Belichick agreed with him. So once <laughs> Belichick agreed, they're just going to yeah, do it. The, the, just as simple as that. <laughs> what was the other one? But they should still go high, right? What did you, what did you say? Five feet. Five feet. They should do lasers. That's really what they – Just lasers. But I guess, and then Belichick also wants lasers on the goal line, which makes sense too. It's a high-tech age, yeah, right? And I think they wanted to put cameras on the sidelines too so you could see like, yeah. okay, you really did step out of bounds or the ball's out of bounds. I lo- it's 2014. Let's I do like it. You might as well invest a little money into it. And, I mean, the NFL is the one to really embrace all these like – video angles and technology into the game no i mean look at baseball they finally got video replay after <laughs> they're just starting it this year belichick was actually in my backyard for the nfl mm-hmm. owners meeting this week here in orlando and he said that um it turns out the nfl is not gonna do the goal line lasers goal line cameras he said maybe we can try a bake sale to raise some money for the <laughs> nfl to try to get those going so a cheap shot yeah, yeah, across yeah. the back jeremy i feel like a lot of activities going on in orlando i don't know why you're not at these events the NCAA tournaments are going on. Like spring training? Is I, that- I, I, 
I don't I don't really know about uh that's it's not a, that's not good enough. So PJ Tour was here last week. I was okay. there. March Madness was here. I was Why not don't, there. The owner Is he there this was, Thursday? No, it was only last week. It's not back in Orlando. The March no, Madness? Really? Where, no, where are they going this weekend? Four locations, Memphis, New York City, can't tell you the other okay. two. Okay. Um, I also have another one for the honey for you. Now, we all remember Rex Ryan. We've seen him with his shirt off a few times. Unfortunately. Uh, he, I don't know if you remember, he had a tattoo right yeah. there. It was like his yeah, Mark Sanchez, his right? wife with number, uh, what is it, number nine or six? Seven? Six? It's six. Seven. Seven? I don't know. It's a Mark Sanchez. No, we, yeah, whatever. Okay. Whatever number Mark Sanchez is, oh, we'll yeah, that's down. what he's got on the side of him. Yeah. He says he's going to keep the tattoo. He's gonna it, keep it, it must. There must have been some like bro love there. They must have really liked each other. Like, well, it's interesting because at the time we didn't know if it was a real tattoo or not. Yeah. So now, if he's saying he's going to keep it, that means it's definitely real. Yeah, I mean, I, I've I see a picture that I've never seen before of him with his shirt off, and I saw that picture too. And if it's still there, it must be. Yeah, real. It must be. So he loves Mark Sanchez. He. I wonder if he's upset that they're cutting him. I mean, this is his job is on the line. Like he Rex Ryan should have been fired three years ago. He's still there. He's uh, they were good three okay. years ago, probably a year or two when ago. When Tebow was there, yeah, that's two years yeah. ago. I think I'm gonna buy. All, I mean, I have a Tebow jersey. I think I'm gonna buy a Vic jersey. I think I'm just gonna keep buying all the quarterbacks that are coming through. Not Geno Smith. No, no, no. The ones that are just there for a year, like Vic will be there for a yeah, year. Tebow will be yeah. there for a year. Buy a Jets jersey every year. That sounds yeah, like because eventually we'll go back to another Jets game. I would like yeah. that. I don't want to be stuck in a monster that storm, bad, a superstorm. All right, if you want to check out more uh, shows, go to youtube.com backslash. I figured out why I like your shirt. It's Dolphins colors. You got some orange. You got the the aqua. There it is. There you go. That's that's, that's why I, I like. wore Jeremy. Uh, YouTube.com backslash sports hangover on Twitter at TSH Podcast. Um, where else are we, Jeremy? Oh, Patreon. Are we on Instagram? No, we're not on. Do you want to start an Instagram? <laughs> We're not. I like I mean, we, we could start Instagram. Would you want to like start a Tumblr page or something? I'm not big on Tumblr. Oh. Pinterest? You do Pinterest? Pinterest is like where you put fashion clothes and like pictures of things. So. Hey, that shirt right. burns. Uh, we're on Patreon.com uh, backslash the sports hangover. Check us out. Support the show. We would That's really, cool. really appreciate it. And if we don't get molested or rest abused, we'll be back next week.